Hello everyone, welcome to Study Guides Forum. We have a question here. We want to solve. We want to look at how to calculate the velocity, the wavelength, and velocity. The question says the source of sound, the source of sound or frequency C C T has emits wave waves of wavelength 0 0.12 meter in air at 40 degrees Celsius. What is the velocity of sound in air at this temperature? What would be the wavelength of sound wave from the source in air at 70 degrees Celsius? So now, the first thing, the first question said that we should find the what. We're going to find the um, velocity, the velocity of the sound wave. So to get the velocity of the sound wave, we know that velocity is always frequency over that over lambda, that is the wavelength. So, and our frequency here is 660 hertz, and our wavelength is 0, 0 0.12 meter, 0 0.12 meter. So the velocity, the velocity now will then be equal to 660 times 0 0.12 meter. That will give us 79.2 meter per second. So this is the velocity of that. So the second question says that what will be the wavelength of sound wave from the source in air at 70 degrees Celsius. So in this case, before we do that, I want you to remember that the velocity of sound wave is in that is directly proportional to what square root of heat temperature at Kelvin. It's directly proportional to the square root of heat temperature at Kelvin. So, being that having that in mind, that simply means that to get this, you mean that we we'll use this formula is what we are going to use, which is v1 v2 equal to equal to t1 over what t2. V1 stand of, stand for the first initial velocity, the final velocity, the initial temperature, and the final temperature, that's the T2. So in this case, now we have the uh, initial velocity, but we have initial velocity to be, our initial velocity is already given to what we've calculated that. We said that our initial velocity is, our initial velocity is V1 is 79.2 meter per second. So our V2 is what we are looking for because we can not get this wavelength without actually getting the velocity first, the velocity that is involved. So the temperature, the temperature T1 means that 40 plus was 0, 0.273, that will give us 313. 313 Kelvin, that is a Kelvin temperature. 313 Kelvin. And the T2, the T2 will give us 70 plus 273. That will give us 343 Kelvin. So now we're going to substitute. If we substitute for this, what we're going to have here will be V1 is 79.2 all over V2 equal to equal to um, square root of 313 all over 4343. So if we, if we square both sides, if we square both sides of that equation, we have this will be what? Squared all over V2 squared equal to 313 three over 343 three, um, that's for the temperature so when we cross multiply if we cross multiply this what we have will be 313 V2 squared V2 squared equal to 792 squared times 4343 So making V2 squared the subject of the formula, we will have um, squared times 3, 
four, three, all over. Three, one, three. That will give us final answer of that will give us um that is v2 squared will then be will then be six eight three seven three point nine now we will get the square root if we get the square root of this that is the square root will give us is the square root of seven three point one that will give us 82.9 meter per second. Meter per second. That's the velocity, the velocity V2. Now, the question, the last question said that we should find, calculate the wavelength. We know that wavelength is always equal to, wavelength is equal to lambda, yeah, frequency times lambda. Now, now we have the um, velocity, our V is 82. 0.9 equal to frequency which is the same thing times lambda now the wavelength the wavelength will then be um, 660 over 82.9 that will give us 0 0.0.31 31 meter that's the final answer thank you so much for being part of this class and i want you to like subscribe and make sure you share and also comment thank you so much